What is strong? I'm going to tell you the tale of a kid who was given lemons and has now laid down the foundation for the largest lemonade stand ever. I'm going to tell you a tale of a child who became a kid, a kid who became a man, and a man who has become an inspiration to his entire community. All of this while battling the scourge, all oh, the scourge we call cancer. So do you know strength? Maybe you do. But do you know what it takes to be DC strong? When I was six years old, I was diagnosed with stage five Worm's tumor kidney cancer. I've had everything from chemotherapy, radiation, and even a stem cell transplant when I was 13. And I was put into a coma for almost on and off one or two months. A chaplain actually came and blessed me into heaven, and my parents had the choice to pull the plug on me. And I didn't die. I, I lived and I pushed through. I've always believed that whatever I've gone through, that there was a reason for it, and that there was some bigger purpose, bigger goal, and that there was always, always something I needed to do. Like there was something that that I needed, that I was that I went through all this for. And I, I believe DC Strong is it. That what I went through, I'm supposed to be able to use to help other childhood cancer patients. You see, DC Strong is a movement. At a time in his life when most kids are concerned with when are the new Jordans coming out? Or did you watch the Grammys last night? Who's 16 and pregnant? Have I got enough swagger? You see, Dustin Collier is busy. Oh, he is busy, my friends. <laughs> Dustin's out there taking care of his own. He and his friends in DC Strong are out giving back. They're out fighting. They are on a mission, not just against cancer. They are out to defeat the darkest part of this monster. The part that twists inside of a child and makes him feel like there's no reason to keep fighting. Or that there's no hope. And you see Dustin. Dustin gives them a hero. A hero they can touch and feel. Someone who's real. Not some alter ego superhero from a comic book who takes to the streets at night to fight injustice. Oh no, 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 no. Somebody tangible. Somebody who's staring down the same demon they are and is winning. This is love. This is my favorite thing in the world, right here. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> When I was in high school, I was re-diagnosed with cancer for my fourth time. And after going to Ann Arbor my third time and being put into a coma, I kind of thought cancer was over and that I didn't have to go through it anymore, which I was wrong. And it totally changed my life. I was upset and I was mad and I was angry and I was depressed. And what I really needed was to be lifted up and shown that there was tons of people behind me. A group of friends of mine came up with DC Strong as a way to support me and show me that I could overcome cancer. I remember, I remember walking into high school and seeing all my friends, even teachers, with, with shirts that said DC Strong on them. And in the back it said, hey cancer, come at me bro, with the guy going like this. And uh, I'll never forget that. It, it lifted my spirit, it showed me that I could do it, and it almost started something. To this day, people still wear DC Strong shirts at our school. And after we got through my cancer treatment, I, I realized that this is my calling, this was my purpose, and that it would be a shame if I didn't help other people the way my friends have helped me in high school.
point of DC Strong is to show that deep down, we all have a hidden strength inside. And with that strength, you can overcome, you have the ability to overcome anything. The problem is not everyone realizes this. Most childhood cancer patients, they're just thrown into adulthood or they're given the expiration date by their doctor. But if you can take that kid and show them how to live life without the disease, it's the best way to show them how to beat it. You see the boys of DC Strong, Nate, Larry, Dustin, and Zach have dedicated themselves to bringing gifts, toys, inspiration, and in some cases, life-changing experiences to some very special kids. But more than these things, much more than these things, more than the toys, they deliver the thing you can't buy in the store. They deliver hope. They deliver hope and continuing support for the families and for the fighters. DC Strong gives these kids someone they can call anytime. Anytime they want to play video games, jump on trampolines, while out, I don't know, whatever it is kids do these days, it doesn't matter. They've earned the right not to hurt. They've earned the right to forget what it is to hurt. If only for a minute, let somebody else fight the fight for a day. We're about to go into Bronson Hospital here to give all this aw these awesome things to our cancer patient, Kylie. I was actually surprised. I, I didn't expect them to be to be that be that young really. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I really didn't. They took me, my mom, my grandma and grandpa down to a uh, ginger and raceway, right? I believe it was. And mm -hmm. we rode in three cars, a Corvette, I always forget the second one, and then a, a Viper with the CEO of the Viper Company. It's nice to have uh, kids closer to your child's age to help go through things and understand things because you know it's, it's one thing for adults but it's one free thing for a kid to a kid to understand what's happening. Nate, um, he came back after you know, everything and took him out fishing for the day and then I, I believe you guys went to play disc golf too. We did. That was nice just to get away. You guys are an amazing group of, of kids. I mean, you know, it helps to have a group of people to not only provide an uh, awesome experience for a kid for a day, but to continue to support them and keep in contact and, you know, find out how they're doing and if they need anything and even just to go out and hang out for a day. You know, I'm a single mom and it's just Tyler and I and, and to have other male figures in his life is, is an awesome, awesome thing. DC Strong is gonna need a lot of help in the form of volunteers, donations, and toys to make sure that these special moments can continue to happen. Will you please help us and join DC Strong and make sure that no one ever fights alone, that no child ever fights alone.
So oh. 